guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. My life is crazy right now. I just left Costco. It's Friday night. I thought I would do a little weekend vlog for Monday. I'm not really sure what I'm going to get into this weekend. But I know I have to work. Um, a few of you have commented that I'm more busy now than I was at the holidays. And that is absolutely true. Um, I got a small promotion at work. It's a little more responsibility. And it's also my our very, very busy time of the year. In the industry that I work at. This is like the single busiest month of the year for us. So, work's been a little crazy, so my free time has been limited. I just had a hot dog, no bun. And my weekly one-time soda treat. Not every week. But I needed some stuff. So I stopped at Joanne, and I picked up a few things to make an Easter gnome and to make a St. Patrick's Day gnome. Sorry about the weird lighting. Let's see if I turn that on. Is that better? No. Um, St. Patrick's Day no. I'm going to do that first. I had ordered something online and it hasn't come in yet that I wanted to use for the St. Patrick's gnome, so I bought a replacement part, if you will. <laughs> I say that. I bought some fabric. And then I got some felt. Nothing major. But then I went to Costco. I needed a few things, so I picked up those egg wraps that I bought last week. I really enjoyed those and for zero carb they made a great breakfast burrito so this week for lunch because I'm gonna be busy I'm pulling out um, some ham from my freezer I had purchased a spiral ham after Christmas here let's do this light how about that I had purchased a spiral ham after Christmas on clearance and cut it down to make sandwich slices and that's in the freezer so I'll take one of those out and then um, I have some cheese at home. I have to go to Aldi anyway, so I get some sliced cheese, maybe some, make some avocado mayonnaise, and make a sandwich wrap, which I think will be delicious for my lunches. And then um, I got some cheese wisps, which are just baked Parmesan cheese, little crunchy like chips. And if you're ever at Walmart, they sell them in the deli there, but they're much more cost effective at Costco, and you get like a really big bag, and I just pack a little baggie every day for my lunch when I make a sandwich. For that, I'll probably do hard-boiled eggs and something for breakfast just to make life easier next week, and I also picked up a new kitchen rug because, you know, life. My old one was getting kind of beat up, so I'll get rid of that, exchange it for the new kitchen rug. And then I am getting a, or I picked up some Dawn, Dawn or Downy, Downy scent boosters because I love those. And they had this huge bottle for like $11. So it was a great deal. So I picked that up. Now we're going to go home. I'm going to tidy up my house. It's Friday. However, I'm very proud of myself. I only have like three pairs of shoes at the front door. But I have exciting news. Lane Bry and I are becoming best friends, as you know. Or if you've watched my other vlog, I won well this coat that I'm wearing. I won an $80 gift card and got this for $20. And then I won a $500 gift card on their Instagram, which was exciting. So stay in your lane, sir. And this is my lane. Um I went in last Tuesday, so the day after the holiday, and I'm doing a wear test on a couple pair of jeans that I love. Right now I'm wearing the Deluxe Fit High Rise today, and I love the way these jeans fit. They're not super high-waisted, but they're enough, and I love them. I will buy more of these when they come out. The Low Rise, which is the other pair, same size, Low Rise, they're okay. I'll wear them, but I prefer the High Rise. There's nothing really different about them other than the color and how high the waist is. And the low rise, the back waist, is just as high as these. It's the front waist that's lower. Which is one thing I like about Lane Bryant is they um, they cut their jeans higher in the back. So if you got any like badunkadunk, it kind of covers it. I, however, do not. But it's nice. Anyway, I digress. 
So I was chitty chatty with the ladies at the, it's at the home office here in Columbus in the city. And I was chatting with the ladies who I've seen multiple times because I test fit fairly regularly there. A couple times a year for sure. Anyway, so I got an email asking if I wanted to do a fashion show for at the home office. They quarterly meeting for all their regional managers come in. And I'm assuming it's gonna be like spring, summer. I don't know. They haven't told us what we're wearing. But it's gonna be super fun. So I took a day off because it's on a Friday and I have to be there from like 12 to 4 and they'll feed us and whatever outfit I'm modeling, I get to keep. That's my payment. Oh, you can pay me in clothes anytime you would like. <laughs> That's how I feel about that. So yeah, I'm super excited and it's gonna be something that's in the stores that I haven't had a chance, you know, nobody's seen yet, is what I'm assuming. But I don't know. All right, so I thought I would start this vlog on a Friday night. We'll end it on a Sunday night and see what I can get into this weekend. I'm definitely going to do a gnome DIY probably tomorrow evening. The St. Patrick's Day gnome. We got to get that out there. And I will bring you along. All right, guys. I'll talk to you. It's Saturday. And I'm a terrible vlogger. But... I just got out of getting my hair cut. It was getting so long. Thank God. I just love, love Miss Sarah who cuts my hair. She's the best. She puts up with my last minute panic. I need a haircut. Can you squeeze me in? Which is awesome. Because my life's a little busy right now. And when you need a haircut, you need a haircut. And I needed one. Ha, huh, so, ooh bouncing you around. Sorry. So today, Saturday, I went to work this morning for my overtime. And then I ran to the Dollar Tree to get some pens and pencils to do. Uh, I need to go to another Dollar Tree because I didn't have what I want. All the things I wanted, I should say. Sorry, I have hair in my shirt. I went to uh, so Dollar Tree. Then I ran to Michael's because I needed some embroidery floss to make our gnomes coming up. I forgot to get that last night at Joanne. And then what did I do? Oh, and then I ran to Target to get a gift card. And I wanted to get some different food. I'm trying to find some food that Wellington, he's my tuxedo, or Dubby as I call him, Dub. Uh, I'm trying to get Wellington some food that he likes a lot that he'll eat because he's making me nervous. He's not eating all the food. And I want him to not throw up. <laughs> so I got, I'm going to try some Purina Sensitive Skin and Tummy. Stomach. Sensitive Skin and Stomach for him. We're going to try that. It's turkey flavored. He's not a big seafood fan. He's also a pain in my booty. He's so fussy. And then when he finds something he likes, sometimes he can't have it because he's allergic. And gets, his allergies are like mine, nasally and um, coughs. And then his asthma flares up and then he gets miserable. And I have to take him to the vet because he's wheezing and nobody has time and or money for those shenanigans and we've done really good I say we but I've done <laughs> really good figuring out the foods he can have that don't trigger his allergies but I want him to eat a little more so we're gonna try this Purina which is the same I get him right now Purina Beyond so this is Purina sensitive skin and stomach so hopefully he'll be good with it if not don't have a fear um, I have a friend who has barn cats I keep saying to her girl what is a barn cat because they come in and sleep on your pillow right no I don't understand that like how do you get their babies but they're very well cared for I'm just teasing but um, she just feeds them whatever so what I do is 
if I find a food that Wellington can't have, or I'm trying to, you know, in this situation, I'm trying to find foods that he can have that he might like a little better and will eat a little more of without having his allergy issue. Um, if it doesn't work, then I pass it along to her and she feeds it to the barn cat so it doesn't get wasted. Alex will eat anything. He's not my problem child. It's Wellington who's super picky. But he's getting, he's losing some weight and I don't know if it's a, I'm an old man thing or what. He's 12, 13, I think 13. Possibly 12. He's 12. Um, so, you know, who knows. Alright, so I'm headed home and then I'll try to show you around. We're headed to, so if you follow football, if not, I'm sure you know who the Ohio State Buckeyes are. Their past coach, Urban Meyer, opened up an ale house in Dublin, right outside of Columbus. And we're going to go there for dinner tonight. So, I will bring you along. Hi guys, we're in CVS and I have a super quick deal for you that I'm doing today. I thought I would share. So, what I have, first and foremost, is a leaf. It's spend, I got a, a printout from Savvy Coupon Shopper. I highly recommend watching her video. She does all the work for you. And you just print it off and take it in store. Okay, a leaf, spend 20, get $10. So this one here is $11.79 and this is $8.29. I have a $4 off coupon for the 100 count and I have a $2 off coupon for the 50 count. But buying these two sizes brings it to $20.08. So I'm automatically getting $10 off. That brings it down to $10.08. Then you take off the $6 for the coupons is $4.08. Well, that's a great deal. However, I have two pain relief CRTs. I have one $2 off um, any Aleve 100 count, which I have. And then I have a $2 in, off of a $12 pain relief CRT on my card. So these are going to be eight cents for the two of them. So that was easy. The other super easy one this week, Lara bars are a dollar piece. That's a great deal in itself. There is a 250 cent print to your card in the app. So that brings it down to 250. I have a $2 CRT. So these three bars will be 50 cents. Now you have to kind of do a lot of couponing and shopping to get all the CRTs, but this is something I buy because my cousin and my niece, they like that stuff. And the last deal I'm doing is Revlon. Um, I have some buy one, get one free coupons and this is the last week to use them. So these are $8.99 for the, this and $8.59 for this, but one of each will be free. So really I'm looking at $17. Um, they're spend 12, get a $4 ECB. So that's eight off of the 17. And then I have a four off CRT that came in my mailer. So these will be like $5 for all four product. And these make great stocking stuffers or gifts for the ladies in your life or the men if they like makeup, who's judging? Not me. All right, well that was my CVS and I'll update you in the car and tell you if everything went through. Everything went through. Oh, let me get some light on in here. It was perfect, guys. And I had a CRT on my card. I didn't know. I'm having some, there's my coat. I'm having some issues in the red box. Like I scan my card and you have to scan your card multiple times, the same card to print all those CRTs, but it wasn't working. So when I scan it once, it prints. And then when I go to scan it again, it tells me I've printed them all, but then I don't because they're all in my receipt. So I have to be sent, I have to be, that's not even English. I have been sending things to my card. All right, so I got, my total was $1.42 for everything and then tax was $2.73. So I paid out of pocket $4.15 for everything, which is awesome sauce. Um, my pain reliever coupons, two of them came off. I had a $4 and a $2 that came off. I had a four off of 20 for the Revlon. I did have a three off of 12 cosmetics. I must have sent it to my card and didn't see it. My three off of 12 pain reliever came off. My $2 came off. My $2 Lara bar came off. The 50 cent Lara bar did not. I don't know why. 
um, my 44 cents for 25% off. That's interesting that the Lara Bar coupon didn't come off. So it should have been 99 cents out of pocket. Am I complaining? No, I'm just telling you what didn't come off. But that was awesome that the Lara Bars were three for a dollar or three for three this week. That's a great thing to stock up on. You don't normally get, um, you know, good food deals at CVS. But today, my savings, oh, I hate this. It won't show you. Come on was 98% if you can see that CVS and this is stuff that I will use myself or I can totally donate I think um, I have some friends that have some teen daughters I think she just turned third she just turned 12 and so I was thinking for her this color and she's got a really beautiful olive complexion and I was thinking that color pink would be great uh, lippy for her and then those eyeshadow colors would be super fun for the summer you know just a little something for Mercedes to wear she's a sweet girl and then my leave please I'm all about the pain reliever and so that's it today for couponing now I am headed to work I have to work a few hours and then I'm going knitting with my friend Heidi and then I'll be home to do some preparing for work I'm not cooking anything this week um, what I'm doing is making keto sandwiches. Sorry, my lips are chapped. Keto sandwiches and wisps to go with it. All right, gotta go to work. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm home. I worked today, this morning, and then I went to my friend Heidi's and we did some knitting and visiting with her and her husband. And their cute dog. He's so cute. Cooper, he's a big baby. Uh, Black Lab, super cute. One of those guys that just doesn't know how big he is. And on the way back, I stopped at the grocery. I'm putting my eggs in my egg container. I'm also boiling eggs for lunch this week. I decided I'm gonna do egg salad sandwiches. Just kind of craving some spring food. These are my egg containers, by the way. I got them at the Dollar Tree. I love them. I can always see how many eggs I have. And then I bought some cream. This new caramel cream coffee that was out for spring, I guess. They had cinnamon. Although I feel like this might have been from their holiday blend, but I don't care. I liked it. So I grabbed a bag of that. Some of these hard salami these are great snacks for keto these are pretty clean one gar one carb in case I want to chaffle this week I'm gonna cut up some cheese like I pretty much do every week oops and then I got some celery to go in my egg salad so that's all I bought at the grocery I'm still trying really hard to uh, eat up what I have you know things that I already have in the house so my tongue is this crazy color Sarah got me these for Christmas and I'm eating them and they are squealing hot they're called they are very spicy but I need you to see this very unnatural color I <laughs> turned my tongue pink but I'm starving so I didn't really have food today not true at noontime I had a I went through Dunkin Donuts and got a coffee and I got a sausage, egg, and cheese, no bun, no biscuit, no bread for that. So I've got the eggs on boiling. I'm going to unload the dishwasher, clean up my kitchen a little bit. It's nothing major, but I just need to unload, wipe down the counter, and do something with this coffee bar situation that I have going on over here. I need to do some purging of some cups. Yeah, I need to do that. And then I need to film a Dollar Tree haul and put together my Dollar Tree haul for um, stationery. But I'm, I need to run to another Dollar Tree, so I may do that as soon as these eggs are boiling. <coughs> and I will see you in just a little bit. Now, I'm getting ready to make my egg salad, but before that, I need some coffee. So this is cream with three packets of my whole earth. I'm gonna turn this whisk. And this is a frother from Bodum, B-O-D-U-M. I got it at Target. It was like $7. 
Um, you can get them on Amazon. I know Ikea has them. I love to froth my cream if I'm going to have like a treat coffee at night. Or if I just feel the need. It's not something I do every morning. But you froth it up and it gives it a little thickness to it. And then I just brew my coffee right on top. It's not quite whipped cream, but almost, really. See? There's a lot in here. Probably too much, but it's a big cup. All right. Now, what we're going to do is brew the coffee. Now, I got my coffee made. Well, my coffee is being made. And... my version, because everybody you know has their own version, of egg salad. I make like with mine like a deviled egg salad, so it's eggs with mayonnaise, mustard. Um, I put a little pickle juice in mine, salt and pepper. So I'll get my coffee brew and I'm going to peel these eggs and I'll bring you along for the egg salad. Alright, here is my mix. I have all the eggs chopped up. A little bit of celery, mayonnaise, mustard, salt, pepper, and I'm actually using garlic bites, pickle juice, because, I mean, doesn't that just sound delicious? And I put about two tablespoons to start. We'll see how this works. So then I just blend it. Um, I finished off one of my containers of mayonnaise. I will tell you, I don't like mine super wet. So I always go light on all the stuff, mix it up, taste it, Oops. see where we're at, and if we need more of something, I'll add more. But I just don't like it sloppy wet, but that's me. If you like a lot of mayonnaise or mustard or juice in it, by all means, Ooh. Well, let's just taste that. Mm. Yeah, like that's super good. I think what I'll do is add one more tablespoon of the pickle juice. I really like the bite that the pickle juice brings to the table. And it also loosens it up a little bit so I don't have to add more mayonnaise. But that is pretty much it. I'll add a little salt and pepper to taste. And then I have these containers. There's five of them. I will put a scoop in each one, pack it in my lunch, and then I will wrap up my egg wraps in cellophane because they will dry out on you. So they need to be in a bag of some sort. Maybe a little more celery for the crunch, you know? I don't know what it is. I'm craving spring and spring food. All right, so this portion is done. I'll bring you back when I pack my lunch. All right, guys, I got my lunch all ready for the week. This is ham and cheese. I bought a spiral sliced ham on clearance at Target, and I sliced it up into sandwich portions and put it in my freezer, like a whole ham. So that's what I got there. These are two of the egg wraps. Here's my recommendation. I love these egg wraps for keto, but I left them in the package and just closed them, and they do dry up. So I took all of them and package them in two into zip bags and seal them real good like I push the air out and seal them so hopefully these won't get dry some mustard and I'll tell you why in a second my egg salad and then to go with my lunch I brought I picked up some of these wisps at Costco which I already told you about so here's my plan I have egg salad that I can make a sandwich and eat the ham and cheese for breakfast, or I can make a ham and cheese sandwich, have the egg salad for breakfast, or since I have two wraps, I can have both sandwiches. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for today. I will talk to you, and I hope you enjoy this vlog. Bye.